let's say somebody gets sued and you've got the plaintiff and the defendant, they both have a lawyer, right, to represent them. In real estate, it's the same way as a buyer and a seller. So why is it there's only one agent representing the seller and no one's representing the buyer, right? Because the buyer might not know everything to do with real estate. They might not know what the revelations are. They don't know where the gaps are. So what we're doing now is representing the buyer to act in their best interest to help them identify the best opportunities, protect them, and also help them negotiate the best results.